check it. Uh. Yeah. And fighting out of the red corner. Roots. Yeah. With this mic, I chose you to power choke. Ho, stone cold, and your body is the ice mold. Told him give it back, you're not deserving of the ice gold. Treat him like you never served a purpose in the wife's hole. Price to take you off for the charts cost less than a second that I kill you with these bars. No handout, boy. Yeah, work till I pass out, boy. To bring the chain of command, it's a knockout, boy. I get it in till I cash out, boy. Pay respect to a queen bossy. In the streets, what they feel us only niggas ain't insist on being competing for defeating and defeating losses. Wrong move to beat my feet. Exhausted. Seven hustles, pick the muscle, yeah, I feed the market Grand slamming and you know the target Aim high, level up and never give up on this dream I started Not even gravity can keep me guarded I got the recipe, unless it's me, my message reads this game is garbage I see how easily they keep the party The mainstream and underground Mainly cause my thunder sound and nuclear pan All these motherfucking freaks retarded I'm only certain that I'm planting when my tunes regarded Without a plaque, without a contract I'm fed like a boss is I'm high off response, it's like a loud that's exotic Plaque to 100 you break the barriers and charge it to my record With a fire full of shit that reaches ready for the record For any violator will be stepping in my section Spiral in this pen, make these paper planes my weapon Dropping bombs with cadets with the people lesson Tongue stay strapped like a Smith and Wesson Now let me be your crew after I held the stealth And bust around cause my ball game crazy Rod digging on you lanes cause it's earth game pace me Try and face me Roots It's um, and greetings, Moors Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another great episode of Pardon the Interjection. Uh, I am your host, Supreme L, and I want to give high, extremely high honors to Prophet Noble Jew Ali and all the active Moors, active Moors, active Moors, and non-active Moors. You better get active. Here on Pardon the Interjection, we dig up information to divulge to the people in the upliftment of fallen humanity. And yes, we've fallen a long way, family. And uh, we've got a good one here for you today. And it's always a pleasure and an honor for the family to view and hear and listen to the words that we bring. All right. And uh, we will be having a, a beautiful guest on today. <laughs> Pardon me, okay? I got a, a, a loose tooth, so bear with me. But I'm going to bring it to the family the best way I can. All right. So, um,. I want to get into uh, first reading from uh, the Holy Quran, Circle 7, divinely, divinely prepared by the noble prophet, Drew Ali. And it says, uh, Dear readers, do not falsely use these lessons. They are for good, peace, and happiness for all those that love Jesus. Dear mothers, teach these lessons to your little ones that they may learn to love instead of hate. Dear fathers, by these lessons you can set your house in order, and your children will learn to love instead of hate. The lessons of this pamphlet are not for sale, but for the sake of humanity, as I am a prophet, and the servant is worthy of his hire. You can receive this pamphlet, you can receive this pamphlet, you can receive this pamphlet at expense. The reason these lessons have not been known is because the Muslims of India, Egypt, and Palestine had these secrets and kept them back from the outside world. And when the time appointed by Allah, they loosened the keys and freed the secrets. And for the first time in ages have these secrets been delivered in the hands of the Muslims of America. All authority and rights of publishing this pamphlet of 1927 by the Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Now, that's just one to run that across for the family for the first moment. And I just want to run through this one little piece of jewel that I got that's coming out of the Clocks of Destiny, uh, Part 2. And it is the Moorish Red Fez. Since a lot of people be talking about our KFC bucket hats, which is not a hat, but it is an actual Fez. And um, the Red Fez of the Moorish nation represents Atlas, the human head and earth. The tassel of the Fez represents the center of the universe, namely the human head and the force of gravity which attracts all objects and draw them to the center of the earth and human beings. Here, you are referred to the sun Virgo and the sign Pisces in the diagram of the zodiac 
on page 41. Now, we're going to get into our beautiful host, our great brother that just called in. And uh, we want to go in and continue with the show. And uh, we have family on the phone, as always, your brother, my good brother, up top, Kujo Adriel. What's going on with you, my chic? Ah, oh, just beautiful. Everything is blissful, more blissful. How about you? <laughs> no, everything is peaceful. Good, good, good. Okay, yeah, so we want to go ahead and um, we're going to do uh, a good one. You know, this is partner interjection with Axe, a grand chic. <laughs> and um, the first question we want to throw at you is, let's just do it like this. How does one start up a temple, chic? Down to 
that it's like when it's like more to um it's like more who are in temples right now that are corrupt. Right? Right. They know that they're corrupt. It's not like they don't know. But there's there's this um honor the traitors gene that Moors have. Wow. There's something bred into Moors where, you know, it's okay for somebody to be a traitor. It's okay for somebody to be a fellow. You know, it, it, it's, it's not, it's not, you know, a negative if somebody doesn't have your best interest at heart. Mm-hmm. Or only, only with more. Right now, if you're saying that you want to be more a temple and it's corrupt people that you're getting your charter from, how with the prophet are you? How, how with the prophet are you if you're siding with the people who have killed the prophet? Right. You know, that's why we always push. Start a study group. Because what? Moral Science Temple of America is a school anyway. Exactly. It's not some temple. Go worship Noble Juali and sing stuff. It's a school. Not teach you Quran and all that stuff. Teach you the stuff that you got that you were just reading on CMD and all that. Mm-hmm. Teaching that in the temple. All right. Well, teach that. I want to have clock of destiny classes right. at the temple. Exactly. Where they read the clock of destiny, right? And then they have their dictionaries and all that stuff, and then they study and you know whatever. But you know you're not gonna get that in the temple. And if you think that they're gonna give you a charter and you're gonna do that, ha! Huh? Don't be fooled. These people are all old. That's why. <coughs> that's why. Um, you don't hear these people as far as the leadership of MST or whatever like that say anything to Canaan land. We're more a science temple. We got a charter and all that. You think they're not? Because we're not. We're not under them like that. Right. We're not under them. Because it's not, this is not ownership. The more who brought us in told us, take this stuff that we're giving you. And do what the prophet said to do. Mm-hmm. Here's all the stuff that the prophet said. So you take the stuff that the prophet said, go wherever, back where you came from, and implement what the prophet said where you're at. Mm-hmm. Now, number two, that you know, a lot of the people that these people are mad at, a lot of the people that these people are mad at, because, you know, they don't teach more science and all that stuff, are people who we're down with as more science temple of America. Mm -hmm. Which again compromises them. Because if there's a more science temple of America over there and they're saying, yeah, you know, you should go check out this people's information because, you know, you'll get some facts from them. Do your research, fact check them, and you're going to learn something. Right. Then these people here that, that are more science temple of America too are saying, well, those guys don't know what Noble Juali brought and they're running a fraud and they don't know this, they don't know that. Prophet didn't say what they said and, and all this. Now, when you check Noble Juali stuff for yourself, you're going to realize that there's certain people who are with what the Prophet said and then certain people who are lying. Right, exactly. <laughs> Now, if you want to get a charter from a liar, because Nobu Juali said, yeah, you're the temple, and 
you're getting caught up in temple being some building with a sign, a more sign temple, then you don't deserve to have a temple. Because mm -hmm. that's incompetent. If somebody's going to say, hey, you want to be more sign temple? I'll give you a charter for 250 mm. Which they've done. Why would you want to be part of that? And again, this has nothing to do with more science temple. We're saying, I'm saying, that <coughs> get out of that box mentality that more science temple is what this is about. This is about uplifting your fallen humanity. This is about putting no drop up front. Right, correct. But he, but he, he was on some Monday, you know, whatever. But again, people get caught up. They see, see him use 
nationality and birthright to do pyramids and all that type of stuff. You think it's not nationality and birthright that did that? Mm. And everybody was supposed to follow suit. Not just run to go and go be there. Right. People leaving where they're at to come there. Instead of building what he built where they're at. That's right. That's that's exactly right. I want to know how come how come they were able to get him so easy and shut him down or whatever. What do you mean? Everything centralized in one location. Why not? Right. Why why do you think why do you think the piece of battle had seven heads or whatever? <laughs> 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 you know, take a head. You, you still got to do a battle. Right. Right. You know, you know that 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 would that that statement right there alone, you know, would take us into our second question if you if you can uh, allow that. Peace, Moria. Uh, and with that, uh, he said it was so easy for them to come in and infiltrate and shut that down in Tamaray, in Georgia. Um, how uh, with this statement? How true is this statement? If the prophet is not at the head. Oh, your movement, or whatever you're doing, it won't last. Um, you know, that, that only applies to those that adhere to what Noble Drawley brought. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people out there who are doing whatever, and their stuff is successful, but Noble Drawley is not in front of it, they're, they're not included. Right. You know, this is only relative to Mark. Right, exactly. Who follow the teaching, who study the teaching, who use as a reference point the lessons that Nova Dua Libra. Mm -hmm. So, good people, hell yeah, that statement is right, true, and exact. Because you can't be a... Um, active, conscious, Moorish American and not give honors to Nobu Dua Right. Like you can. If you think you can, then don't worry, you won't be here too long. Just watch all those people who said that they're Moorish or whatever. How long does stuff last? <laughs> right, like, like, you know, Um, it's blasphemy for somebody to call themselves their their organization or their group or their firm or whatever Moorish something, but they got somebody else as the, the, the figurehead. Right. Right. And again, this is why. Keep in mind when we went to Pittsburgh, the whole play of them having um, Yogi Dwali's picture on the wall and next to him is reincarnated prophet. Wow. Like both of them on the wall together. Wow. Right? Because they know that they can't put, they can't, if he's reincarnated, why are they showing a picture of the prophet for? Exactly. Exactly. If, if you're Noble Dwali, come again, then we don't need no pictures of Noble Dwali around. Why do we need pictures of Noble Dwali still? If these people are the, are the coming of whatever, why they still got pictures of Noble Dwali? Mm. Because you have to put the prophet in there to keep in order for your stuff to, you know what I mean? Right. It's incredible. Remember, the same people, these are the same people who are jealous of his fame and nobility. Right. That now, that now they have some whatever and they put, they put his picture on the chair and say, no, we draw these sitting there and stuff like that. Right? But that's only for show because all they do is push their supreme grand chief or their grand chief or their grand governor or whatever. Right. They don't push, they don't push no, we You know what I mean? And again, when you go and you check what Nova Dwali presented to the Moors, 
you will see why he why he should be a fan. <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> like why would why would you be enforcing the constitution because somebody told you, but now you're honor for the guy who told you. Mm. You're standing up on your right to travel and all that stuff, but then it, it, it's not nothing. You don't got the little um the little. Rearview mirror picture of Noble Drawley or nothing like that? Hanging picture? You don't got a little sticker on the steering wheel or nothing like that? You say you honor the prophet? Right. Nothing? Nothing on your person? You know what I mean? Like, you, you don't, you don't, you don't, nothing at all? Wow. And I remember these were things like, you know, when, when, um, we were in Chicago or whatever. You know what I mean? Everyone. They want to take our picture of the prophet in there. Everyone. Right? So no withdrawal is there all the time. No withdrawal is always up front. Every time they go in that wallet, no withdrawal is there looking at them. Yeah. 
have that Zoom so show how how far your camera could zoom commercial. Right, right. And then they start they start close to the thing and they back the camera up or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they're pulling up. And then when you check it you see that this that was that wasn't some um something close up, that thing was like miles away. Miles and away. Like that. Right. So the zoom out has to be our perspective. Not the zoom in. The zoom out has to be our perspective. Because you get the bigger picture. Exactly. And, and you know, the, 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 uh, the portrait that Noble Jolly drew for the Mars is a big picture. So, uh, pardon the interjection. So, so this would take us to the next question. Uh, what say you about people now comparing their sheiks, grand sheik, supreme grand sheik, or whatever have you, that's proven to be down with the sellout, saying that their sheiks is the greatest since Noble Drew Ali. Mm. But they better 
be able to hold up their order. Right. Like their supreme claims that they're making, that they're the best one ever since Nobu Juali, not only should they be able to hold it up, but there should be past record to show that greatness that they claim that they got. Yes. And if there's none, now you got again, why are you guys listening to these traitors? Because <coughs> that's, that's, you know, that, those are traitor antics. Yeah. To see that a man who was given or earned or whatever a particular title after Nobu Juali. Right? Right. If this individual is is making a claim or people around them are making a claim that they are just as great as Nobu Juali when they live in a time frame which which is which is, you know, uh, novice compared to the time frame Nobu Juali lived in. You're a damn fool listening to these people. <laughs> because Nobu Juali reached all these people. He didn't even have Twitter and all that. Right. He reached these people with his newspaper. For newspapers to get everywhere, they have to be shipping them there. All right. I mean, there have to be outlets available for people to get the information that he brought in that time. Have these um, grand chiefs, supreme grand chiefs, whoever they call themselves today that are claiming this greatness. They don't even have a thousand followers. Nobu Juali had some thousands in his time. They compare themselves to him, but again, it goes back to that jealous of the fame and nobility. And the individuals who are seeking attention from this would make claims like that. Right. People who are losers I want to attach yourself to something that's pure and divine and wholesome. Mm-hmm. You'll say things like, right? Because you know, like you, you would have to be, you would have to be, uh, smoking, drinking something to put yourself <laughs> in <everything. laughs> Like you put yourself in. Mm-hmm. Not guys who came after Nobu Juali, Nobu Juali issues. Right. These are boldface, like we say. Right. And then for the sheik, the sheik himself, not not even to be like, nah, brother, that that's not me. I'm just doing what I have to do. No, you acknowledge that. Didn't even say nothing back, but uh, you good, brother. You know, the 
solution they're taking of saying they are more in science temple. The activity that, that is happening is not something that's happening with these people as it was happening with the prophet. Right. But the but the name the name of the game is you know, we talked about this before, that you know the people who are not popular are going to say something to gain popularity. Right. Right? So just go just go if you go on Morisco's channel you'll see all the stuff that has you know, him talking about Taj and RV Bay and the gossip and all that type of stuff, that's right. the high heat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Those stuff have the high heat. Right? Because this is where, this is where they know that our people are at. So they can reel them in. But not reel them in for them to learn something. Reel them in from the idea that, you know, if you watch this or if you support this, you're going to be looked at like, you know, you're down with the right whatever. It's not about the right whatever. It's about truth. Right. Like, truth is absolute. There's no right or wrong in truth. Are you dealing with truth or you're dealing with, with BS? One of the principles. Right, and the truth is only going to be found by those who seek it. Mm-hmm. Truth isn't coming to people who don't want it. Don't think truth is going to fall to you. You're not drawing truth to you. You have to go get truth. Yes. You have to want truth in order for truth to manifest. You know, duality may one of the principles because of, of its power. The power of truth. Right. You know, and half the people are not down with truth. We know they're not down with truth. But when you when you go on um you see people who they're saying um they're on the level of noble duality and all this type of stuff, right? Right. When you go on their website and you go under the temple locator to see where these people are are at, you know what I mean? Where, 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 where are they existing, right? You know where they exist at? They exist in NY, PA, SC, MI. Those are, those, those are corporates. Right, right, exactly. Okay, so, so if this is their website and they know that they're more and this is their estate, how is their moral science temple in PA? Wow. How do they put on as the quote-unquote location? Even, even over Juali didn't say Chicago, he said Mecca. Yeah, that's right. That's truth. So Chicago and Mecca, how are you saying IL. What do you mean IL? What do you mean? How do you more sign temple but you're in SC? What do you mean you're in SC? What the hell is SC? Right. But this is that corporate mindset. This is that perspective of uh, you know, more has have to do with business and more is have to do with commerce and whatever. Right. But that's not what this is. Right. You know what I mean? That's not, yeah, yeah. It might be a religious corporation, but trust me, it's not about corporate activity. Right. Even though if it's a religious corporation, it's not about corporate activity. Right. It's about humanity activity. Right. It's not about religious activity or dogmatized activity. This is about divine activity. You know, and again, you know, they, they, they keep divine, get rid of national, and then say religion. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And then people look 
look at this as a divine and religious movement and get lost. And then the, and then the people who are actually exercising the divine and national are being looked at like they don't regret no good Right, right. You know, when you hear these same people that are claiming that they're the authority in more science temple or whatever say that this is a religious movement and say that this is a religious corporation and everything has to do with, you know what I mean, um, some type of... Um, Yeah, about to say what now with that being said, I want to ask you this. The U dot S, a corporation. Now is it a corporation and what is a corporation? Well, we'll just book for that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it. I know that's right. Here on Partner Interjection, ask a grand sheik. We're going to get and go to the books. And why not? If we, if we have them, there you go. Then why not? There you go. <laughs> so I'm just okay. having them collecting dust and use them as a, a, a beer coaster. I mean, a <laughs> drink coaster. <laughs> a drink coaster. <laughs> You gonna take the blue cup or the red cup? <laughs> exactly, exactly, right, more, right, more. <laughs> but please, pardon the interjection, and <laughs> we continue. Um, so corporation. Um, corporation is something that is an artificial person or legal entity created by or under the authority of the laws of a state or nation composed in some rare instances of a single person and his successors being the incumbents of a particular office but ordinarily consisting of an association of numerous individuals who subsist as a body politic under a special denomination which is regarded in law as having a personality and existence distinct from that of its several members, and which is by the, by the same authority vested with the capacity of continuous succession, irrespective of changes in its membership, either in institutions or for a limited term of years, and of acting as a unit or single individual in matters relating to the common purpose of the association within the scope of the powers and authorities conferred upon such bodies by law. Right now, the corporation, religious corporation, Morris Science Temple of America, was a successor. Right. The right. Morris Science Temple of America came out of Morris Holy Temple of Science. Right. Which is regarded in law as having a personality and existence distinct from its several members. That personality and existence should be where the members' mindsets are at. Right, you're right. Because remember that the, the cause of the Moorish movement is uplifting from humanity. Now, 
humanity had to have been fallen for there to be a movement to uplift humanity. Right. So the falling had to happen first. And then the fall that happened brought about the cause and the cause is supposed to correct the fall. Mm -hmm. The fall is not being corrected under Morris Science Temple of America because Morris Science Temple of America today, that artificial person or legal entity created by or under the authority of the laws of the state or nation has been compromised. And they strayed away from dealing with constitutional law. Mm -hmm. They strayed away from teaching. So this, when, when we look at corporations, one, corporations aren't bad, nothing's wrong with them. Corporations, it ain't no big deal. Right? Right. Who's running the corporation? Are they running it as continuous succession, irrespective of the changes in its membership? Are they within the scope of the powers and authorities conferred, conferred upon such bodies by law? Are they really acting in the capacity of Grand Chief, Grand Governor, Grand Secretary, Grand Treasurer, Grand Mufti, Grand whatever, under this corporation? If they're not, then it's not about questioning the corporation, a.k.a. more Science Temple. Right. It's about questioning the people who are supposed to be making sure that this thing is running how it's been running from the start. Why would you why would you change the perspective? Unless to confuse people. Right. Why would why would they push that this corporation is religious but not push the constitutional right to religion. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, um, uh, have a constitution but not enforce the supreme law of the land constitution. But they have a constitution though. Right. Which, which is really supposed to be training for you to get to the national constitution. Which is why, again, we go back to Brother Philip's book, More Than Masonry, and put in your mind that White House and all that type of stuff is really our governmental seat under this guise called whatever they call it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? That's why Mojuan gave us the title, like, governor. Because you're not supposed to be going, that's your state representative. The grand governor, not the governor of the state. Right. Because we have our own government that's been, that's been running here. You know, it's like, it's like, like, you know, we have, we have our corporation, Morris Science Temple, but then they want to go to U.S. Corporation like they're somebody. Right, right. Right, no, no different than it's like, it's like Prince Hall are really the legit nation, but they're going to some Europeans who are legit to get them to recognize them. Crazy, crazy. When, when, they really, they, when they're really the authority. And they should be the one. Prince Hall should be the one giving charters to these Europeans. Exactly, exactly.
Now, now, pardon the interjection, Sheik. That's really beautiful. We coming down to the five minute mark of the uh, hour, and um, I know you you have to Islam. I know you have to get on a um, a nine thirty show. I will be tuning in because I want you to send me that blog talk link. Um, I will be having a um, conference. I, I started up a new Uber conference <laughs> for the people out there. The number is 720-835-5764. It will be on tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Please call in if you will. And um, What else do you have? Any, do you have anything you want to say? Shout outs and, and greetings or salutations to anyone before we... Islam, Islam to you more for all the, all the work you're doing with the partner introduction because you know we need to be interjected sometimes. Yes, yes. You know, the BS out here. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? the, uh. All honors to you, Sheik. The honors go to you. I thank you for giving me your precious time more, because I know your time is precious more. So, I, honors to you, always. First thing, just so we can get this on, on both shows at once. Um, don't forget, every Tuesday, 9.30 p.m., blogtalkradio.com, M-H-H-S, dash eyes wide open. And the call-in number, make sure you call before 9.30 or you're not going to get into the queue, 425-569-5201. 425-569-5201 and 347-945-5899. Islam, Islam. It's up all the Moors out there. Well, that's how it is. And uh, like I say, we have the Grand Sheik of a pure temple our good brother your good brother Kujo Otto L thank you for coming through and we're going to do this again as always uh, pardon the interjection Axe a Grand Sheik thank you for coming on brother peace and love more. peace and love peace and love more. I'll get with you real shortly peace and love yeah. peace peace Islam, Islam. So, you know, that was our good brother, Grand Sheikh Kudra Adwell. And it's always a pleasure and enlightening and enlightenment when he's on. And um, like I said, we're going to do this and keep it coming and bringing it to the family, bringing it to the people because it needs to be out there and put out there because it's a lot of falsehood that's going on. And we're going to, um, a lot of dirty, dirty stuff going on, dirty moors out there. And we're here to clean them up because that's what we're going to do. We clean them up. All right. So, uh, as I say, <laughs> always don't believe me go check it out for yourself and you'll be amazed at the jewels you'll find on your treasure hunt Morris. it's a beautiful day where we can come and unite with each other because that's what the prophet said the uniting of asia so with that the information is out there and i say uh islam love and peace forever Moors. With this mic I chose you, the power choco Throw stone cold in your body is the ice mo Told him give it back, you're not deserving of the ice go Treat him like you never served the purpose in the wife's hole Price to take you off for the charge cost Less than a second that I kill you with these bars No handouts, boy, yeah, work till I pass out, boy To bring the chain of command, it's a knockout, boy I get it there till I cash out, boy Pay respect to a queen bossy In the streets where they feel us, only niggas eating Sister being competing for defeating and defeating losses Wrong move to beat my feet Exhausted. Seven hustles, pick the muscle, yeah, I feed the market Grand slamming and you know the target Aim high, level up, and never give up on this dream I started Not even gravity can keep me parted I got the recipe, unless it's me, my message reads this game is garbage I see how easily they keep the party The mainstream and underground Mainly cause my thunder sound and neatly pound Oh, all these motherfucking freaks retarded I'm only certain that I'm planting where my tunes regarded Without a plaque, without a contract I'm fed like a boss is I'm high, you off responses like the loud that's exotic Clack to 100 Break the barriers and charge it to my record With a fire full of shit that reaches ready for the record Bet any violator will be stepping in my section Spiral in this pen, make these paper planes my weapon Dropping bombs from cadets with the keep the lesson Tongue stay strapped like the Smith and Wesson Now let me be your crew after I held the stealth And bust around cause my ball game crazy Raw digging on you lames cause this earth ain't pace me Try and face me Roots